Hello everyone. In today's lesson, we will learn how we can make a free call to the USA or Canada using a computer and the internet. For more contents like this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. In order to do that, open your browser and go to gmail.com. Please note, you will need to have a Gmail account to make free calls. If you don't have, please create one. Sign in to your Gmail. After you are signed in, if you scroll down and see in the left side, you can see make a phone call and there is a phone icon too. In order to use this feature, you must have a valid number verified with Google. Any local number will do. If you do not have any number, check the video till the end for an alternative. Additionally, if you want to use this feature on a phone, you can download the Hangout app. Anyway, for this demo, let's find a number, maybe Apple's contact number. Let's try calling this number. Copy this and make a phone call. Select the country, the USA and paste the number. You'd probably not need this and click on call. So as mentioned earlier, we will need to verify our number with Google. If you don't have one, check the video till the end. Let me choose my country and add the number and click on next. Enter the verification code and verify. I accept and proceed. So the phone is dialing as you can see. Your call did not go through. Please try your call again. 017P Guess there are some issues with Apple's number. Let me try with the another one. Thank you for calling HostGator. I understand complete sentences. So please tell me, how can I help you? So it's working. I just cut the line. So this is how you can make free calls to the USA using Gmail. Now for instance, if you do not have any number, you can simply go to textnow.com then sign up which is free use your gmail account to register and you will get a free number you can then use that number to complete the gmail verification however we strongly suggest you to use your own number as the number provided by this website might be given to someone else if you do not use it regularly and if your gmail is associated with this number Someone getting that number might be able to change your password and get hold of your account. So it's better to use your own number. Anyway, I hope this lesson was useful to you. Thank you very much.